Greetings everyone. It's truly a privilege and an honor for me to share the word of the Lord with you tonight. A few weeks ago, about two weeks ago, I released a prophetic word with regards to the global pandemic that we are facing. And just to recall, the first thing the Lord said to me, he said, we are the start of the birth pain. There's more to come. And in this decade, we're going to see some unusual things in the atmosphere and even in the earth, says the Lord. But I'm not here to bring uh, bad news or to, to re release fear uh, to you guys. But I'm here to bring good news today. The Lord said to tell you guys that this is a time and this is a season, even in the midst of all that you're seeing in, in the midst of this global pandemic. And even after this corona, you're going to begin to see unusual things. But God said, even in the mid God said he's about to release and he's about to accelerate some blessings some things that you've been believing God for some things that you've been praying for some time some things you've been looking to invest God said he's about to cause these things to come into fruition says the Lord I mean the Lord said there's some men of God who've been believing God for properties and a place for their church and a place for their, their gathering and I hear the Lord said this is going to be a season of ownership for many even men of God considering the gathering of churches and I mean the Lord say even concerning your home God said that many of you guys been looking for your own place and looking for your vehicle looking to launch your business looking to pay off your education looking to, to send your children to, to even foreign universities and if you a lot of you have been questioning Lord where's the money's gonna come from to launch this business venture but I hear the Lord say this is a season where he's gonna accelerate some blessings to the body of Christ uh, and, and yet the Lord say what would have taken years would have would now take months what would take months would now take days and what would take days would happen instantly there's such an acceleration there's such a release from heaven now because the Lord is saying because of the time that we are in God because we are living in the end times i would call this uh, i would say we are in the, the the final we are the start of the final chapter so to speak and because of this uh, the, the people gonna the, the body of christ are gonna be blessed in a in a in a unusual uncommon unprecedented ways and there are a lot of testimonies that you're gonna be hearing not just through carol's ministry but throughout the body of christ at, at large and god say you are gonna be like a you're gonna be a, a uh, uh, display your the power you're gonna display his his magnificence you're gonna display uh his his blessings in a real tangible way that when people look at it they're gonna say well how did you achieve this how did you get this and they're gonna know it's because of god and god and a lot of people gonna gonna come and want to partake partake and be a partake of what god is doing in this end time season and i hear the lord say with regards to 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 a lot of people who are not saved and a lot of people there is such a harvest that is about to hit the place. Listen to me. I see a lot of non non believers as well gonna begin to experience the goodness, the blessings, and the favor of God, just as Peter experienced the blessing of God. And as he threw out his net and he saw the harvest and he saw the abundance, he he knelt before Jesus and he said, "I'm a wicked man. I'm a sinful man." And he repented. He kneeled before God right there. And God is gonna cause many, many, many people to come to their knees and come to their place come to come to come to a place of repentance because of his goodness because of his blessings because of his favor so this is an incredible time although in the midst of all that we hear and i know a lot of i know that a lot of our, our families and friends and so and uh and neighbors and have been affected by the the uh, uh, uh their income i have ha, their income i really have has been affected and uh even some of them losing their jobs some of them on um, you know, um, really, really uh, worried at this time. But I hear the Lord say He's about to turn some things around, even in the midst of this, this, the, the, this current situation. And just embrace yourself for what God wants to do. Just be, continue to worship God. Continue to worship Him in good times and in bad times. Don't lose focus. Don't, don't, don't take your eyes off Jesus. You know, don't, don't, don't even allow the enemy to question your identity at this time. For many have been uh, faithful. Many have been 
understood the cause. Many have been uh, uh, faithful and have trusted God and have been toiling. This is your time and this is your hour for harvest. For I hear the Lord is saying as well, harvest is going to be the harvest, says the Lord. So Father, I declare your blessings over your people even now and I thank you for your word. And Father, I, I, I just I just uh, declare uh, your continuous healing, your continuous protection and uh, over this uh, nation of Trinidad and Tobago and over the world at large in, in Jesus' name. God bless you all. I love you all and I miss you guys and I look forward to really uh, connecting with you guys uh, as, as soon as possible. Love you.